Hey Perry Peacock with Wilderness Innovation. Um, wanted to do just a really quick tip uh, up the canyon. Uh, here I found uh, a vehicle up there uh, stranded. I just wanted to give one little quick clue here. I'm sure most people know about it, but a lot of times we leave stuff behind that maybe we shouldn't. That is never hurts when you're uh, never hurts when you're out and about in the in the woods off road somewhere. Never does hurt to have a shovel. Uh, I'm going to show you some video of a of a vehicle up here that. Uh, uh, they, they were up probably where they shouldn't have been anyhow with the vehicle and the tires they had but they got stranded up there and uh, down below there at the at the turn you can see there's a vehicle kind of cockeyed into the road and I can see some uh, tire tracks up this hill here they got about to where I'm standing I was probably too slick uh, I'd say that vehicle was probably might have been up here on the weekend when we had uh, some snow and some rain. All right, we're getting a little closer here. And uh, see what's happened is this vehicle's got over off into the ditch with uh, one of the front tires. It's pretty, pretty sloppy up in here probably a couple of days ago. It looks like they they got down into there and the road curves on and slopes down into the ditch uh, as you go around the turn there. So yeah, they're down. Step back here a little for a better view. So yeah, see they're, they're down into the ditch and it kind of looks like that they were trying to get out and kept sliding into it because of the slope of the road right here. It's a good case for if a person had a shovel in their truck probably. I know my dad and I years ago up getting firewood way up in the mountains in the late fall got stuck in a we had a flatbed truck and back up in there we got onto some road like this and kind of went off but we had our shovels and we just kind of dug ourselves a ramp out of there and got back onto the road and we were good to go but uh, I don't imagine these guys had a shovel doesn't look like it would probably I don't think it'd be that difficult to get out of here with the shovel. Um, they may have been faced with another issue too. Uh, if they were up here in this last weekend when it was rainy and snowy, it's pretty likely that this is uh, quite, quite slick. And uh, they may have had a little difficulty regardless of getting out of here or not. But at least they could have got up here on the, on the bank here and uh, kind of got out of their situation make sure you bring you if you're going up on some roads like this make sure you got at least a shovel and uh, a decent jack and stuff uh, a little bit of some means to get yourself out of a place like this this isn't doesn't look to me to be that bad of a getting stuck here but uh, tell you what they got a few miles of walking out of here to get on out so uh, would have been easier probably to have a shovel dig on out and drive out of here instead so looks like uh, looking at the tires they're looking pretty well bald here very little very little tread on them anyway just a little quick tip take a shovel that should be uh, in your vehicle if you have a pickup or something a full length shovel if you can't carry one this long carry at least something you know something to dig with it can make all the difference in uh, getting out and having to walk out because you get back up in the hills here you don't have cell phone you don't have any other way to contact anybody so if your vehicle's stuck you're probably walking out instead of driving out the shovel can save that Perry Peacock with your Wilderness Quick Tip.